Welcome everyone to another video in which I will be showing you the most optimal Rocket League settings to play the game. I have already made a similar video like this, but it was my Rocket League settings that my Rocket League settings are not optimal. As I have quite a good PC, I can allow myself to have a little bit more quality and still get very good performance. I'm also going to be showing only settings in game because... I feel like that applies to most people because I could show you the like uh, Nvidia graphics card settings and stuff, but that doesn't apply to like PS4 or Xbox. So I'm just fucking them over. So yeah, this will be exclusively for Rocket League. So first gameplay, you just want to copy what I have here is it's just it's nothing special for the camera. You customize whatever you want. Obviously, this is mine. You can copy it if you want. Camera shake should be off. If you have camera shake on, I don't like you. Now for the control, I haven't really explained in the last video what these sensitivity and dead zone do. So so basically sensitivity is, well, it says at the bottom control stick sensitivity when steering. So basically when you're on the ground and you're steering, uh, but it also applies for air, but there's both of them and you're steering, it will, your car will turn depending on how far you move your stick and how like so you can move your stick very little if you have it on like max and you move it very little then your car will just turn right as far as possible so so you want to you don't want to set it too high but you you also don't want it too low because it doesn't make sense now the controller dead zone is like same as those two but combined and it it basically does everything that they do except if you have it lower, it does it faster. If you have it higher, it does it slower. And for the dodge dead zone, it... Fucking hell, that's difficult. Dodge dead zone, it's just basically how far you have to move your stick to make a flip. So if you're flipping instead of double jumping all the time, then put it high. And then if you're double jumping instead of flipping, then put it a bit lower. For the interface, I just have colorblind mode off. Force team default colors off. Notifications during gameplay off. Because I don't like them covering my screen. It's sometimes really bothering. I only have time updates on the notifications because i just want to know you know i don't look at the time all the time now we're moving on to the most important part this is where you get most of your uh, like quality and performance from right this is where you want to really focus up buckle up so for the resolution you want to have the same as your monitor this will give you the best quality so mine is 1920 by 1080 and that's what i have display mode always full screen don't change these always you should be full screen unless you have some issue of your computer where you like it's it breaks or some shit because i used to have that with my other pc before i got this new one i used to have i had to play on borderless now vertical sync should always be off if you have it on then you're probably a virgin this literally fucks you up like the delay you have from your controller to your pc is affected by vertical sync so so basically your input delay as it says at the bottom will just be increased so much that like you feel it massively like i could not play with this on then for the anti allies alarm i have the i have it off i don't i don't really render quality i've had high quality as i said i have a good pc but the rendering should be a high but the rendering should be a high quality for most of you if you're running on like a lego computer or something you should you, you could put quality but this is just not good now the frames per second i have a 144 monitor so it doesn't really make a difference but i just put it there if i put it on cap then for some reason when i'm recording it like glitches my recording so i have to have it at 360 then for the most high performance texture detail it says high performance so you're gonna choose that if you're running a lego computer again then for the world detail also performance for the particle detail also performance and for the effect intensity low intensity basically this will just give you the highest performance but you will have some bad quality pictures in front of you happening at a lot of frames per second now all of these tick boxes should be ticked off except the transparent goalposts as these allow you to see through the go goalposts and when you're stuck in net sometimes you and the ball is in the corner you wouldn't be able to see it if you have this off but with this um you you can see the ball even through the post now it, that wasn't an option by the way before like back in the day the good old days of rocket league you could not do that so yeah it was tough defending but yeah all these boxes just like kind of interrupt with, with the gameplay like bloom light shafts lens flares they're just very uh unnecessary effects that just they make the game look better but then you know it's harder to focus on like the actual ball and trying to that's if you take this game seriously though if you don't take this seriously and you're running a sick piece you just fucking turn all of them on but yeah, this is pretty much what you want to copy for for the highest like performance and obviously you can put this into like even high performance but look how my game looks jesus christ now look how much world detail changes if you go from performance to high quality 
the whole ground moves, bro. Yeah, I'm currently running the game on like all the max quality settings and as good as it looks, actually it doesn't even ruin my performance, but it's just like all the lens flares, like all the lights and stuff are just distracting. The weather, like look at all these particles going at you. It's just, it's just distracting. But yeah, this is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it helped some of you. I know there's plenty of those videos on YouTube right now, but you know, maybe, maybe you didn't see any other one and you stumbled across mine one. If you enjoy my videos, make sure to subscribe. Join our Discord link will be down in the description. Like the video and peace.